Welcome back, you beautiful people. We're gonna talk protection, but we're gonna focus on protection mistakes. Yes, that's exactly right, Blake, because actually wearing the wrong pads, poorly fitting or something like that, can be detrimental to them providing the sort of the protection that they should. Yes, and we're at Windhill Bike Park where you need protection. So it's the perfect place to do it all. All right, Rich, you ready? Ready to go, mate. No, you can't. Come on. Safety first, bud. Yeah, but you wear that underneath your clothing. Come on. You're going to rip your top or something, you silly sausage. No, you are. <laughs> That's not, not these work. pads on. Wearing pads on the outside of your clothing. It's an easy mistake to make when you don't know any better, which is understandable. We recommend wearing your pads under the clothing. Why? Because when it comes to a crash, the protection you're wearing on top of your clothing is more likely to move, slip, or not work effectively. Generally, manufacturers have designed the pads to be worn under your riding kit, on the skin, for maximum protection. Wearing the wrong size pads. This, again, is a common mistake to make. Having the wrong size pads kind of defeats the object on wearing pads. Too small and they won't fit as well, or they won't be in the right place. The main one is the cause of discomfort cutting blood circulation to your muscles, which is not very good. Plus, muscles pump up when you work out, which again, with small pads, can be painful. Too big, on the other hand, blood flow, discomfort, muscle pump, it's not an issue. The issue with big pads is keeping them in place, AKA on your knees or if you have elbow pads. They just won't stay in place if you ever have a crash. Plus, if they do stay in place a little, they will just move in an instant when you hit the floor. Using the wrong protection for the job can make or break a ride, you can lose confidence, and it can stop you from doing stuff. So having the right protection for the job is key. That's exactly right, mate. Yes, you are never gonna see an EWS rider or a downhill racer in the sort of the really thin, skinny pads and minimal protection. They're always gonna be wearing maybe elbow pads, back protectors, and the much chunkier knee pads to take those hits. Yeah, likewise, if you're going on a mellow ride, you're not gonna be using all the bells and whistles. You're gonna be using the essential kit that you need. Stuff that's well ventilated. For a start, when it comes to having a crash, the pads are just gonna slide away with a slight touch of the dirt, and you're gonna have no protection at all, no matter how big or small the crash is. Again, if you don't do them up how you meant to, those pads won't stay in place, will they? Wearing no protection at all, aka Rich, I'm going for a chilled ride. Hold you right there, Blake. Those are some famous last words. It's always well worth wearing some kind of protection, even just some real lightweight knee pads, because you better have them on and not need them than have a little tumble and leave some skin behind. Exactly. We recommend <laughs> you just wear some protection when you go out riding. So there you go. There's a few common mistakes when it comes to putting on your protection when you go out for a ride. That's it, mate. And yes, always try and use protection and use it correctly. Exactly. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't make these mistakes because you might end in tears. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Don't forget, let us know what you thought in the comments and we'll catch you next time. See ya.